Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Maya tutorial. Today we'll be adding a rig to the low poly tree we made last time. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I have the Maya scene open here. We can see the tree branches and leaves we've made last time. First thing we're gonna do is move the leaves inside the tree main so we can uh, animate the leaves with the branches when when the time comes okay so first thing first let's start with the main branch but to do that we'll have to hide all of the other ones like this by pressing ctrl h so like that we hide it and by pressing shift h we can make something reappear next step is to go to the rigging panel and also up here if we were not already in it let's get to the four panel uh, view here and use the front view and now we can use this second button here to create joints joints which later will help us uh, animate the object okay so let's start at the bottom it is also a good idea to use the wireframe instead it is this button here instead of the smooth shade so we can see through the object and let's start at the bottom here let's create a joint here you can also change the radius from the channel box let's say we want this one to be 0.5 maybe even a little bigger let's say 1 okay now when you have an object with a lot of faces it usually doesn't matter exactly where you place your joints but in this case because it's a low poly uh, object it's better to place it at vertices so you can easily manipulate those vertices so we'll we'll just use those horizontal vertices as our guide for the joints so let's put another one here let's put another one here another one here here in this corner more here there we go and one last up here once we've done placing them we have to actually put them in space they might not be exactly where we want to so the easiest thing to do is to do the same here S see them in wireframe and turn on snap to points and now if we take one of them and press W to see the controls we can when we'll move it we can snap it to certain points for example the center here of this polygon same with this okay so it's better to start at the bottom because when you move the joints at the top when you move the joints at the bottom it's gonna move all of the joints above it in this case because we want to have the joints 
in the middle of our tree and it snaps to points on on the objects we might want to disable this for now and let's just try to place them visually maybe using the top view I'm not sure if that would work this is the top view now uh, it's a little bit difficult to see exactly where you want to place them it's, it's easier if you just spin around and try to place it as much in the middle as possible again I was doing the same mistake we should start at the bottom and wake, work our way up there we go as long as it's inside the mesh it doesn't really matter where they are placed exactly but this is more for our sanity so we can tell later exactly which nodes affects which vertices there we go we're almost done and for this last one because we want to snap it there let's turn on snapping points and snap it to the center there and we're done so now we have some joints placed what we have to do next is uh, name the joints maybe so let's say three main we'll just give it the same name as the branch okay the naming will help us make heads of tails of what's what later on so that's the main reason why we name our joints okay so what we want to do now is select the joints select the mesh and go to if we are on the rigging menu go to skin and say bind skin this should bind the, our joints to the to the mesh and now if we select the tree main and if we move some of the joints we can already see that they affect uh, let's turn a point snapping off if we move some of the joints you can see they already affect the skin but not exactly how we would we would want to select the tree main go to skin and go to paint skin weights and press this uh, box here which will come up with the menu in which we'll see all our joints that we've just named and its influence on the skin it is a scale from blue to red it's actually uh, black to white so uh, black and white black means no influence white is means total influence and in between we have blue green yellow orange and red so we can see the influences of each joint on the mesh what we want to do in this case is make each each joint influence only its 
specific vertices, for example, this one influence totally the vertices down here. So what we can do is select it and let's use this solid brush and we'll also use uh, opacity 1 and the value of our brush 1 and just paint down here until it's white and down here next we go to the next one which is this one and we'll do the same okay done now that we've painted all the joints when we go into normal view and try to move one of the joints you'll see that it has effect on only its area and we could easily animate it like this but if to make it even simpler for us we can create what is called an IK handle so if we go up here with this which looks like a sword what this will basically do is make this entire rig easier to animate basically you'll be able to control it like a puppet so we'll choose this joint down here and go up and press on this one top here and now if we move this joint up here the entire thing moves with it and you can also see it stretches or it contracts how you would expect so it basically bends from all the joints Okay, so now that we've finished with uh, making the IK for the main tree branch, we can show all of the other uh, branches and leaves by pressing Shift H. And you can see if I move this top joint here, it kind of moves the entire tree with it. So we can create some animations. We can also go a step further and create joints and IK for each of the branches, but that's gonna take some time. So we're just gonna leave it at this and animate using just the main, the main tree branch. But that's gonna be next time. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please press like and maybe share. If you want to see more content like this, please press subscribe. And if you have the possibility, please consider supporting me on Patreon from just a dollar a month. Thank you and goodbye.